Hello and welcome to Energize Your Business 015. I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. Sharpen these three leader skills. You may be enjoying boom or facing gloom in your business, but it's still time to sharpen your key skills to prepare for the opportunities that can and will happen. Even if you're riding high and things have never been better, you'll still benefit from taking your key skills to the next level, especially my top three that are coming up. You'll get the maximum return on the time and effort you invest if you sharpen these three skills. Sharpen your commercial skills, your ability to manage money and time. It's about cash flow, return on investment, budgets, margin, profitability, deadlines and workflow. All the things that control the money in people's pockets. Your pockets. It's not about becoming an accountant, but, it become, but focusing on delivering the numbers that count. Now, everyone says they're interested in making money. We all love making money. But when it comes to the actual boring bits of making money, the commercial realities, people often switch off. It's too hard. They just don't understand it. They would rather focus on what they find easier and more interesting. Don't do it. Sharpen your commercial skills. Number two, sharpen your expert skills, which is your ability to do your job. It's about technical competence and specialist knowledge. It's what makes you the expert in your job. You're able to solve problems, generate ideas, and share detailed information. Make sure that you're communicating effectively your expert skills. And number three, sharpen what I call your entrepreneurial skills. Your ability to turn others on when you communicate. It's about communicating with others, presenting, selling, pitching, informing, in a way that gets them turned on and motivated to take action. And it's not just relevant when you are selling, but any time you communicate face to face, voice to voice, screen to screen. Don't ignore the power of today, by the way, or podcasting. There are people who are technically or commercially competent who completely ignore their entrepreneurial skill. They tell you about their great idea or give you the business facts. And if you don't get it, then it's your problem, not theirs. Reflection. It doesn't matter if you are a big boss, little boss, team member. You can gain a real advantage in being strong in all three skills. Now, which of the three will you start with first? This has been a short module from the Leadership Plus channel at my platform, bizvision.co.uk. Visit for free membership, free library, and to see our Change Leader TV and listen to the Change Leader podcast.